Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Made of plastic. It's fantastic. You can comb Rub my hair and take me everywhere. Your imagination, like it's your creation. A few moments later. You got this, Momo. You got this, Mo. Jamila. Look at me. What do we always say? Look at Jamila. What do we say? We say God has not given us the spirit of fear. But no, no. What is? We say God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. You got this. All right. That's it. High five, Lou. I'm so proud of you. Look at you, babes. Hey, girl. High five, mama. It's um, it's food over there if you're ready to eat, or do you want to keep playing? I want to keep playing. Okay. I gotta call mommy on. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hi, guys. So, what are you gonna tell the vlog? We was I was swimming with a life jacket on. And the ocean. That's the lake. It's a lake. And we oh, also really? swim with turtles and water bugs. But we weren't scared at all. I was. I was. Even though I'm old, the oldest. I was going to tell her, tell the truth and shame the devil. Is that a turtle taking his head off? No, that's still part of the conch. Anyway, no, we had a blast. We had a blast. It's time to go. Every, oh, there's nobody else out here on the lake I but us. Saw, we're still on the boat. Yep. Husband is done. What? You see a fish? We're, yeah, we're yeah it, it, just, it was just a baby fish. Let, let me turn around. Let's see. Yeah, we saw fishes. I want to be careful with Grandpa's phone. Water bugs right there. Yeah, we're swimming with those. Okay, don't scoot baby. too down, y'all. Because you ain't got your life jackets on now. But I got my clothes. A lot yeah. of lily pads are out there. Mm -hmm. There's a bullfrog underneath this um, pontoon uh, boat. Have, but we've been seeing a lot of turtles and stuff. And let me tell you, we was having dinner on a pontoon boat. We had pizza. And it's Look, a little breezy now. And right the dangon, there. nope, that's not the bullfrog. This dangon plates, paper plates keep going on. The, the last thing I want is somebody be like, oh, Lord, there they oh, go. Oh, it's gone. You know, bling. It's all the way over there. Yep, it oh, sure yeah. is way Somebody over there. Somebody might grab it. I hope so. Because I hope they don't be sitting there talking about some, mm, some people doing in there. And, <laughs> well, no, that's not. Oh, my butt We didn't wet. do that. Yeah, because you was just out there in that lake. No. Yeah, it's going to be wet, baby. Does it look like it's wet? Yep. You like you peed on yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm going to cover up my butt. Nine years old peeing on herself. I didn't pee on myself. I got proof that she peed on herself. <laughs> she Lulu, proof. we're not doing that. Wait, I want to see. Take. Uh, is it? Yes. Look? <laughs> <laughs> no. Do I have water on my butt? No, you don't. Lucky duckling. This is mine. It my... looks like you peed on yourself in the front. <laughs> she pees. She, <laughs> she peed on herself. She peed. She peed. On okay, so we're gonna clean up the rest of this. this like I said, thank you to. I won't say his name, but our dear friend for um, hosting us and allowing us to come on his pontoon boat and his in lake, and we had an awesome time. Ooh, thank I you to drive on this. thank you to the other gentleman who I will remain who I won't speak of. Him and his wonderful family who uh, took my kid grandkids out and about on a jet ski and um, a speedboat, a floaty boat, but a, a floaty boat. And speed out there, banana floaty boat. We had a ball. But now it's time to get ourselves. It's time to go home, calm down, oh, get ready for not, tomorrow. Not going right we'll check in this. with y'all later. No, I didn't record. Sorry. <laughs> so now the girls, we are having a ball. The girls are having a ball. We got Ninja Turtle pizza. Yeah, so now the girls are having dinner on a boat, on a lake. They'd already done been out there on a the lake. It was so fun. Even though I faced my fear. You did. You faced your fear, and I'm proud of you. This one did too.
she jumped off of the let me see if I can get it to you close that right there that and they don't know how to swim but she jumped off of that my Lulu veil and um but they had on life jackets so I'm happy for thank you to Mr. Dan and his wonderful wife and his family and thank you to Mr. Tom my friend who has allowed us to be on this nice pontoon boat but also Mr. Dan for taking my grandchildren um uh, jet skiing over the waters. They just literally had a ball. I can't. So fun. I was like, felt like he was on a roll, roller coaster and everything. Yeah, <laughs> and, and we got splash zone. Good. What else happened? It was a, this one of the funnest days of the whole entire. Well, not the whole entire. No, because you had fun when you got when we went to Grand Haven. Yeah. You was on a ship. But yeah. And we got so y'all been having a fun every weekend, huh? Yeah. Every weekend for this past weekend. Oh, look, at, there's Mr. Dan. He's about to do it. Oh, man. Woohoo! Woohoo! Dan! That was nice, Mr. Dan. <laughs> nice! Wow. All right, guys. So they're going to eat. Lulu, what was your favorite part? I like the one we swim. You just want to get in like it when you was on the banana boat with Mr. Uh, Dan on that's what they call that. They call that like a banana boat. It attaches itself to the jet skis and he goes fast. The jet ski boat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I liked it, that part. It was fun. Felt like he was on a roller coaster or something? Yeah. So now, no, don't uh, don't drop your pizza. Hold on to it. Sit down. Hold on to it. And, and we also could walk on it. Mm -hmm. And we also can move and go to the front and actually see the inner person. Mm -hmm. I like it. So that's something you can write on your first we day of school, which I did. Too. Yeah, you do. You got new friends. Without getting all that sand. Yeah, so now they're all going back in. Now they t they did they swimming for today. The girls, the kids, Mr. Dan's kids are going more. back. Well, they're going up, honey. They're going up. We're not going back out right now because it's starting to get kind of a little cool a little bit. That was pretty good, though. But, yeah, I'm happy about that. They had a good time. I'm excited for them. Hanging out with the cooks, hanging out with their grandma, grandpa, and we're still waiting on the honey bunny. He's putting in a new liner, a chimney liner for one of our friends, and that's how we end up here on this beautiful, beautiful day on this beautiful, beautiful you lake. Can lay down. Go ahead, you can lay down. But we'll just wipe the eat, eat your uh, your um pizza. But yeah, it's a beautiful, quiet, relaxing day. Now, after what they have done, what they went through. Okay, but still, you need to eat your pizza. Wait, wait, make sure. I'm sorry. Oh, Mr. Tom, you have one pop. But anyway, we're just. I'm trying to get to my point. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't got relaxed, and the girls threw me off by talking. But anyway, they're eating pizza. We're still on the pontoon boat. It's still a beautiful day. It is the perfect day. Welcome to the club. And I'm just excited about what God is doing. And then I thank God what God is doing. And I praise God for all that he has done. So, again, I say this was a successful day. The girls enjoyed it. They wanted to go to this thing that this really huge is called the, the huge slip and slide. But they said, no, nah, this this day right here, what they just went through and what they just experienced is better than that. So and plus they got a slip and slide at home. They got all this kind was of a tiny day. I'm just kidding. They, it was um, a big day. Yep. Yeah, it was a big day. But they <laughs> had their own awesome. slip and slide. So therefore they they didn't miss much because they could, you know, do that. If they really want to slip and slide, they could just pull it out and uh they could yeah, slip and slide. I can slip and slide. But tomorrow I'm hoping that the weather be even better because we're going back to the beach. Oh yes, we're going to be some beach bums and we're going to try to squeeze out as much hot uh weather, enjoy every little bit of this before the summer decides to end. I love summer. Do anybody else beside me like the summer? Some people don't like the summer. Some people think that summer's too hot. I love summer. I think that's why I want to be born on summer. That's why I was born in June. But you was born in June? Yes, honey. I'm a I'm a summer day baby, just like me too. Uh, uh, Mumu. I was supposed to be in the summer. That's yeah. why I love the summer now. You a spring baby. You a spring baby. 
you was born okay. in spring. Spring means when you're starting to warm it up. That's good. Thanks. Hey, Grandpa's a uh, snow. He a fall. Get ready to freeze your butt, baby. He's a November baby. So, <laughs> but anyway, we're in summer. We're, about, yeah. we're summer people. Yep. Go finish eating and calm down. I don't know what I'm that dancing with. But anywho, oh, we're about to go ahead on. I'm about to chill. Keep on chilling, relaxing. This, to be honest with you, this is the best place to be relaxing. It just pulls down every anxiety. It pulls down every stress. It just pulls. It's just nice to just sit peacefully, not hearing the cities, not hearing all the noises, all the, you know, the noise by my house, you know, because I live by airplane, air and train, and you hear all that, and I, you know. It just feel good to relax peacefully. Now I'm starting to think maybe I should get some land out this way and just build a house or just buy something this out this way. So here, you but, made our life different. You made it different. Whole time we I can thought, still do the slip. How that make you change your mind? The biggest slip and slide um, by being no. my grandma. That's been a lot of money. And being a cool grandma. Because all those other grandmas probably go to your toys. But you guys are on See a whole this? other level. Y'all yes, like, y'all like, died. This phone y'all, died. Y'all like, call me, call me dessert. You, oh, y'all, y'all want some pizza? I'm like, ah, and I love you guys so much. You guys are the cool grandmas. Hanging with the cooks. And that's why... You grandma cooks a lot. My grandma cooks a lot. That's why her last name is Cook. That's not why, but yeah, I do cook. But I make sure they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they have snacks and snacks in between. Can you can you stop there and sit down and eat your pizza? I'm full. Okay, but you still gonna eat the rest of that pizza tomorrow. No, ma'am. Today. Sit. Cause yep. Yeah. Ew. Let me go ahead. This this I, we've been rambling for about what. Seven, eight, seven, y'all got like five minutes, seven minutes of this vlog. I really hope that um, we are interesting people. <laughs> but anywho, I know I'm just, like I said, it's peaceful. I just love being Very. out here. It's just so peaceful and quiet. And the neighbors are quite friendly. And, and I, I enjoyed them. And they were very nice to us. And, you know, I love to come back out here. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this pizza. We had, like I said, we had pizza. Um, I don't know what else we're gonna get into today. I did have a desire to go check out some. Um, I wanted to go and get, go to the outlet mall and go find me some shoes or some slides because I want some slides. But enough of all that. I'm just rambling. She, she put her toes in the water. Mm, not really, but we're gonna go ahead. I'll get back with y'all shortly. The next day. Hey everybody, happy Saturday. It is almost September. Summer went past. But anyway, beyond that, hey, welcome back to our vlog, hanging out with the cooks. Y'all know how we do. We go around traveling, going around different places in our neck of the woods or either whenever, wherever we're located. We're always telling you about the places that we've gone or the places we're visiting and the food that we're trying. So, my husband is working with a guy. Now, my husband's from short, uh, from Chicago, born and raised, Shine Town. So, you know, they're known for their Italian beef, right? So, there's um, not a lot of places that we know of in our city that has the Italian beef, like Chicago style. Well, my husband was working with somebody and basically they told him, yeah, there's a place that is a gym and it's a very small gym and it's hidden in Michigan. So, we're in Grand Haven. And we've been trying to come here for the past, how long we've been? Three like weeks. three weeks, literally every week. And we've been coming up here and it's been closed. One, because the Coast Guard um, uh, Festival was going on. And so it was a lot of people. And so they took time off, whatever. But now we're here, we made it. And guess what? It is called The Stack. So we are here and we got our food. And there's the honey bun. I'm going to let him tell you more about it. Well. One of the biggest things is I want to check and see how it tastes. So now, I know exactly how it's supposed to taste. We're getting ready to see if it does. She's going to show you my reaction. Oh, this right here is definitely not yours. 
But okay, so we got my mother. We bought my mama because uh, she's working, and you know I don't feel like cooking today, so we're not gonna do a cook. So I got her an Italian sausage with all the fixings on it. And here is oh, Italian beef. All right. Open her up. And so we have it. It's wet, just like I asked him to be. Okay. Let's see. Wait, before you open that, let me tell you. I'm gonna try. I'm let look. I I I don't really eat fries because I do keto, but I did eat a fry, and the fry is is good. I love a good crinkle fry with pepper on it. Nice and fresh. But anyway, let's look at this Italian bean. Ooh, it's nice and wet. Okay, okay. Come on, stacks. Let's come through. Y'all know we know the real deal of Chicago style Italian beef. You're going to get in Chi Town. I got to make sure the juice it smells is smells like hot. it. It looks like it. All right, let's see it what it tastes like. It. Let's see what right, it tastes okay. like. Go ahead, let's try it. Right on the money. Are you real? He said right on the money. Let me taste it because you know I know. He said it's right on the money, y'all. Right on the money. What do you think? You you, you mm -hmm. videoing him too? Yeah, we're, we're doing our content. <laughs> this oh, nice lady. All right. Right on the money. It's Chicago. Well, we're going to Chicago. Hey, right in Grand Haven, you guys. Right. So you Thanks. got heard it from us. Y'all heard it from us. It's a small gym, but it's awesome. Oh my gosh, honey, don't eat. Look, he eating it all for me. He said it's on the money. Okay, here, you hold it for me and you take, see what my. All right, you're not. Look at that wood. Look at that wood. It's beautiful. beautiful. One thing for sure I do love about Grand Haven, Michigan. It's a small gym, but it's really it has a lot of historic um, buildings, and it reminds me of uh, back in the day. I love it. It's a nice little small gym. This is where we go. We want to go to the beach and everything. Oh, you really would have to go through that way. Oh, we could go the way that we came when we came. Oh, I mean the other way through the highway. All right. And so we have it. So we're back. And guess what? We're still at the stack restaurant. I decided that instead of going to get me um, chicken tenders, I'm going to go ahead and get me an olive burger. But this guy right here, yeah, you see he's pausing. He ain't saying nothing. <laughs> He ate all of the Italian beef sandwich for me. Now, I don't, like I said, a lot of people, now it was, it tastes just like the one in Chicago. It does. It does. I'm just not a jalapeno person. I mean, I, I, I ate it and it was still good. It was still good. I just don't, I'm not a jalapeno person, but I like some kick now. I like some kick, but not something that's going to burn the, you know, crispiness off my butt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, this is beautiful Saturday that we're just, I think what we're getting ready to go do, we're going to look at some stuff for the house. And I think, just trying to make sure, because this wasn't bring our, bring the burger out to me. I think we're going to go look at some stuff for the house uh, and for our yard, uh, some yard ideas. Actually, I got to do some stuff. At the oh, house. no, I got to get some cream. Nope, we still got to get sugar. Yeah. We still got to get cream and sugar. And I got to figure out what I'm going to cook for tomorrow, Sunday dinner, if I don't even want to cook tomorrow. Because I've been cooking every Sunday. We have. And I really do need a rest, to be yeah. honest with you, because I had a procedure on yesterday. And I'll tell you more about that. Um, I did I did a vlog a, a few days ago, a couple of days ago, about what I... What am I? What I'm experiencing right now, and I'll get more in details with you all about it because it's important. It's important to everybody, everyone, you know, especially as women. But anywho, I'm just 
right now just taking it easy and um, I really can't do very much I can't do a lot of lifting right now so hubby and I are just going to go look at some ideas for the house because we're getting ready to start slowly painting and doing different things that we want to do for the house I mean you know um, I want to redo my bathroom we're just gonna do one thing at a time at first we used to be the ones who be like we want to get everything done we used to be that way but as you get older, you understand that, you know, sometimes things takes time. You know, as you get older, you really do find to pace not, yourself. Yeah, you know, pay, what you, pace what, yourself. Why is that, honey? Why do we pace ourselves? Well, you take your time with certain things and think things out instead of just moving quickly. Because, yeah, because if you try to expedite things right away, sometimes it don't always go as planned. We found that out the hard way. It's called through life. You know, we were talking about earlier today about how, you know, I feel like God is saying reset, reset, and it's okay. And, and I know it was God saying that because it was confirmed. God always used signs of wonder and through his word. So, close your door, I don't want to close my door. Oh, huh? you got to. He told me to close my door. He's so bully. I mean, he's so No, I don't want the, the door to bump into the guy's pickup truck. Oh, it's not. Okay, I understand. But anyway, um, anyway, I knew, like I said, I, it was confirmed that that's what I need to do is reset because God confirms things through his word. It's through the washing of the word. But anyway, and uh, I was, you know, I always try to get affirmations and stuff, stuff that inspire, uplift, and courage, you know, me to stay positive, stay focused, have good vibes and everything. And um, this one particular um, statement I came across, it says, reset as many times as you want to. That's what it said. Reset as many times as you want to. And it just confirms that in life, while we're, in a, while we're on our life journey, sometimes even through mistakes or when you fall, it's okay to get back up and restart things over. We so hard on ourselves at times that, you know, we know we should be a little bit further along than we would, you know, further along in life. That's what we desire. But sometimes things take place and things happen. It's called life. Things called life. And sometimes those things transpire on us and it causes us try not to lose my thought but sometimes it tries to affect us in a way that makes us get dowed or hard on ourselves because we feel like we should be actually here when really you know it's okay to restart it's okay to fresh start it's okay to do, do it as many times you want to you know because you know why i don't have a heaven hell to put you in and you don't have a heaven hell to put me in but however as long as we're doing it get up and do it that's what matters just keep doing it keep pursuing it it'll work out things will work out it may not always work out in the way that we desire or how we want it to but it will work out right mm -hmm. well we're still waiting for the olive burger this olive bur burger better be a crabby patty it better be a crabby patty because if it's that good i'll be plankton trying to steal the secret recipe <laughs> i'm being silly right now so it's a nice day warm day we we'll get into some stuff, and we're going to take y'all along with us. We're going to vlog, hang with the cooks, okay? And we're going to do a sit-down, how we met. We were talking about that earlier today. I guess... Really, honey? I'm just kidding. No, um, actually, today has been pretty cool, you know? We've been enjoying ourselves, just relaxing, and we don't hardly ever get a chance to do that because we're so busy all the time. Oh, sleeping in was good today. About we got a chance to sleep in. Yeah, it felt good to sleep in. Honestly, it's a matter of fact. We were, we, I, I got good sleep because honestly, I, I think I fell asleep before you. Mm-hmm. I think you. I slept. I'm tomorrow. It's been a while since I slept good, and then I got up. And slept in some more. It felt good. And I know it felt good to you, honey. Oh, yeah. Now, I have to say, that Italian beef sandwich um, was on point. I mean, from start to finish, because 
I do like it wet. I like the juice. Remind you of Chicago? Yeah. Major Rock. Oh, we, got, we are. We got. We just telling them that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm excited to try it. So I will be back, and I'll take some pictures, and I will tell y'all how it was. How that olive burger was. I will tell you too. He's not getting any. He ate all of that Italian beef sandwich. But again, we're gonna make a video about how we met. We, how we stayed married for 30 years. See y'all in a minute. Okay, so my hair. Um, so we have stacks. Um, again, we told you about the Italian beef, and now this is the olive burger. Now I didn't get a chance, and like I said, I'm doing I do keto, so I don't really eat bread, but I'm making a you know uh, I'm making an exception for the rule because I know. Okay, okay. They smell good. Got the cheese. Ooh, it's a nice size burger, too. I guess that's a quarter pounder. That's a bit. Yeah. So let's give me it. Let's get it a try. You ready? taste the olive yet. The patty tastes like a quarter pound of cheese that you'll get from McDonald's. Oh, I do? Mm -hmm. Let me take a bite. I ain't get a chance to taste the um, the olives, but it's got a lot of onions to it, which I like onions, but you need lettuce, tomatoes to be a real olive burger like Mr. There's Baby's. There's lettuce in there. Yeah, you, but should, you should try that that part Take of it. one bite, cause you ain't finna eat up all everything, dude. Cause you're not a good. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. You don't need no onions. Back off, Ty. Come on. No, no. Mm. Eat up my stuff. I, I mean, I don't eat. Yeah, cause you took a big bite. Look, this Jaws. Jaws took a big bite. So you tell them what you think. The burger is good. No, I don't want to sit here and say it's not good. But when you say olive burger to me, those of you who eat olive burgers, you know what's up with olive burgers. Let me take have, another bite. No, ma'am, Pam. To be able to get a... No, ma'am, Pam, and that's on Mary, little lamb. He ain't about to eat. He just ate a whole Italian beef sandwich. Man, that Italian and beef wrong. You think you're going to eat up everything for me? I don't hardly eat. That's why I lost 120-something pounds. I tasted the olive that time. It's good. It's good. Um, now, would you? I will order again. But the Italian beef is fire. Flat out fire. It's good. Their food is good and it's cooked fresh. Let me add that on there. It's cooked to order. Fries, hot. Everything's fresh. Food is good. That's a place I would go. Uh oh. It's a. It's a place that I would go, hang out, if you want to eat like little fatty food, if you, you know, want to eat, enjoy the beach or, or go, you know, go there after the beach or go there before the beach, spin out, have, it reminds me of an old diner and that it is good. It is really good. It has root beer. It's like a root beer stand, but it's not. You can eat inside or outside. So go on Jackson Street in Grand Haven, go to Stacks. You will not be disappointed. How'd you like the burger? I know it's good. It does get, and again, the burger is real thin. A quarter pounder with cheese kind of taste, but it's still good. I like that. Mm -hmm. And it has a lot, for those of you who like onions, lots of onions. I and love then, onions. I don't think a burger is a real burger without it. I like onions in a burger too. But to make a long story short, our little, little quick getaway trip to, uh, to Grand Haven was a success. Now, we're getting ready to go take care of some stuff for the house and spend a little time with each other and then I'm gonna go home and chill. Happy Saturday, I'll see y'all shortly. Look at this, I messed it up. <laughs> Love y'all.
Well, mm-hmm. we yeah. have uh, we got dessert. Yeah, we got dessert here at uh, <laughs> Cookie Crumble. Crumble cookies. Yeah, crumble cookie. Mm-hmm. And we got. And a we have the strawberry, strawberry shortcake. shortcake cookie. Let's see if we like it or not. No, no, no. We just gotta get y'all because the last time, yep. So, yeah, yeah. Take a small piece, honey. Don't be trying to. I ain't going Because he he would eat it up for me. But no, honey, go ahead. We're trying. Back. Take a little Take bite. A go for it. Go for it. Strawberry. 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 Not like strawberry. Still with strawberry. I don't know what that means. The strawberry shortcake cookie is good. Cause if you like strawberry shortcake, you gonna love this cookie. Okay, so that's where we at. So now we're about to go get. Um, I'm gonna try a little piece of it, and then we're going downtown. And then we have the Metro Cruise. It's a big event that happens every year in Grand Rapids where. All of your most, I mean, old, ain't, you know, all the old cars. We talking about the Corvettes, the Nova. He determined. Let, let, really, I was just telling him about the cars, honey. Let me try it. That's good. Creamy. It's good. Really sweet. But it's really good. I'm taste of butter. Mm-hmm. Creamy. I'm definitely gonna be working out. I've been, I've been um, naughty all day today. I'm like, I ain't seen no diet today. I've been dieting to eat these food. But anyway, going back to the Metro Cruise, it's all the old cars and they drive up and down. It's one of our largest, um, one of the largest streets that we have in Grand Rapids, 28th Street. You see all your old cars. We see you see all your old motorcycles. Beautiful, beautiful cars. We go. I'm gonna show you some pictures of that. Oh, that's nice. Matter of fact, we're right by 28th Street, but we're gonna go check out this. What's going on downtown? Cause something's going on. I want to get and, uh, catch up with right before they close. But we can. We we can. Uh, do that later. I thought we was going to Menard. We don't know how long that whatever that is oh, going on. on down there. But I want I do need to go to the store and get some soap, some dish soap and body soap. Let me just go get our life. Get our life. Get our life. Peace. Okay, are we in an apocalypse that we don't know about? Because they, Walmart has nothing. All of their shelves are gone. I came here for some creamer. I mean, there's nothing. Everything is gone. All the eggs. Let's go this way. We'll check and see. Good. There's nothing. Well, it's empty. But over there where the guy is, there's no creamer. Now what you got on the liquor? <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, what is, is there apocalypse that I know nothing about? I got to get my phone. Um, Skins though, this is for me. Let's find some sugar. Let's find some sugar. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, we gotta go down to eight. Okay. Oh, they got Splenda. They got your Splenda for seven hundred for twenty bucks. That ain't bad. You get seven hundred for nineteen dollars. I, I, I used to get. Well, get what you're gonna get, honey, because you're still gonna just negotiate yourself. And uh, anyway,
You enjoying yourself? I am. Loving finding these little hidden gems in my city. Okay, so we've been looking for this more. I don't know if we're gonna find it. Oh. What is that? What is that? Baking goods. Oh, they do I hope that ain't the type of baking goods I'm thinking of. Nope. You guys don't have the corn, do you? The corn? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have corn, but we don't have any corn on the cob. Oh, you don't have the corn on the cob? We have corn on the wheel, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hey, T. Alright, I'm gonna have a water. I should have brought my skateboard. I forgot I got little people yours, using it. But yours is not like theirs. There's electric. I know, his is electric too. Yo. I don't see other vendors down here. Hey, are you coming downtown? Oh, let's go back to this. Yeah, it's packed down. There's stuff going on. I mean, gee, you don't know where to go. You don't know. Or Grand Rapids is hopping tonight. Two hours later. Yeah. This is so funny. Look, who gonna pay for a taxi and you gotta do all the work? Look at this. This cracks me up. Look, look. Feet work. They doing all the full work. I mean, why in the heck would I pay for a taxi if I gotta do all the footwork? What the heck? I mean, I know it's supposed to be the Stone Age days back in the day, but if you can afford it have diamonds and necklaces and phones. What's up with the not having uh, wheels for the car? But this is so funny to me. But just check it out. Check it out, y'all. Wait a minute. I, th this is irrelevant. I'm j I just want to focus on the cab situation because he... <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just trying to... Oh my God, this part is irrelevant. I just want to laugh at the taxi situation. Who will pay for that today? Look at this. That is so funny. Look, he relaxing, but his feet going. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> he said step on it, but they feet.